Blue Table fans, it's me, Sean. All right, so it's uh, later at the studio. Uh, I've got my son Jonah down here, and I'm here with Anna. And you may notice that we're next to the artist supply area upstairs, which is an unusual place to have uh, an artist's uh, pod. Uh, but uh, we're, we're refurbishing the downstairs. And uh, what that means is uh, we're basically cleaning it up. I'm going to repaint the floors uh, with concrete paint. And uh, it's, it's really an exciting process. So uh, Anna is one of two in-house painters that we're keeping actually physically at the studio. All the other painters are working by remote this week. And uh, so we just thought we'd check in on you and check in on you. You could check in on us. And uh, so Anna, let's start with you. Hey, Blue Table fans. Here's a Scythian War Beast for um, you. Yep. So Anna's been working on this guy. She's been learning her Legion of Everblight. Right? Yeah. Okay, so the fans don't know much about you. You're kind of a pillar of the community now, right? <laughs> All right, what do you want to know about me, Sean? Oh, I get to ask? Yeah. Well, my favorite question, and what I really want to know, always, is what makes you tick? What makes me tick? What makes you tick? Ooh, coffee. Okay, coffee. Chocolate. Yeah. This and isn't the sort of answer I was looking for, and, but that's okay. Uh, art. Art and is art? what really makes me tick. That's what keeps me going. My favorite question is, what's your favorite color? Ooh, that's tough. Ooh, no, I don't have a favorite color. Wow. All the colors are great. Purple I can't pick a, a favorite one. But I guess, okay, ooh, let's refine it a little bit. What's your favorite color to wear? I think my favorite color to wear is purple. Purple! Or black. My favorite color in a sunset is magenta. My favorite color of flower is yellow. Um, my favorite color of car, red. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> my favorite color of fruit, green. Oh, okay. Any particular kind of fruit? Because I'm like, Kiwis. what's green? Kiwis, yeah. avocados, limes. Avocados are great. Avocados. Yeah. You, we were talking today about, because uh, I, I took uh, you and Evan. Evan's a new guy on trial. Nobody's seen him yet. And Bethany, Bethany also new. And uh, Sarah, uh, we went to Italian. We we're talking about food neuroses. And we're also talking about favorite food. I remember it was off for you. It was avocados and something else. I can't and remember. And mushrooms. And mushrooms. Yeah, Anything that's right. With avocado and mushrooms. Is the, delicious. And those are very texture-oriented foods. Mm -hmm. Those are foods that have very distinct textures. Yes, they are a little bit slimy sometimes, but yeah. I like that. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, that's Anna, guys. And <laughs> um, so, any hoozy, uh, guy. It's been it's been raining. It's been a beautiful summer rain, right? Yeah. Oh man, like, it's pouring for a minute. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's really gorgeous. So, uh, okay, so I want to talk about a couple of, well, first off, let's take a look at a few things. So first off, we painted this guy right here. This is like some kind of giant lictor thing. I'm going to stand it in as a dimacaron, but it, of course, is way too small for that. A dimacaron would be like that tall. And uh, we got this guy, which could be some kind of weird swarm lard. So, um, yeah, it's got like these alien bone blade things. And uh, yeah, this this guy this guy's a real freak. He is really really bizarro land. So, not not every day you see that. So um, also, uh, I have oh yeah, and this um, this manticore got painted up today. Still want to put some detail on there. Did the missiles in khaki, and um, I got uh, Bethany doing a freehand of like this ace. I saw this online, so I'd love to credit whoever painted this, but uh, yeah, and the ace with the symbol with the ace of spades, rather, symbol with uh, like a skull in it. So anyway, so I've got this Tyranid trade coming in, and uh, I'll put a link up for information and pictures to that. I'm going to set this down here. Uh, 
All right, and uh, it this is this is incredible. This is such a good deal. Uh, the retail value of the figures is right around four thousand, probably more than that. Uh, I have it on the block currently for fifty two hundred, and it but it's all every single thing is painted. Uh, is uh, assembled and painted. A lot of it is magnetized. This, this quite simply is one of the most amazing collections you're ever going to see of Tyranids. It's over 10,000 points. So it is, this is just such a sweet, sweet bargain. You wouldn't even believe it. Uh, once I parted out, that, uh, that sweet, sweet price is limited time only. And uh, so I'll put the link to a uh, to a blog post that I made about that. It's, a, it's fungus nids. So yeah, we had a client who basically bought that army for me and he just built it into this giant thing. I mean, it's incredible. Even as a centerpiece, it has a Tyranid Hierophant, which is this enormous thing. And it also, um, the, apparently the rules for that miniature have been revamped and they're just, yeah, they're, they're amazing. So, so there's that. Um, guy, what else? I'm making a, and by the way, sorry for not so many videos. I made a goal of doing 60 last week. Mm, no, yeah, and with the refurb downstairs, I'll be getting my hands dirty uh, on that one. And um, so, but I, I'm gonna keep up as much as possible. There's so many projects coming through. It's just absolutely, it's absolutely through the roof. Our productive capacity has really gone up. Uh, with new artists like, uh, like Anna, we've, uh, we've added at least five new artists, and that's, that's, that's pretty significant. That's like an increase of about 30 or 40 percent. So uh, let's continue. Um, God, what was I going to talk about? No, hold on. There was something. Oh, uh, I've got my Wood Elves ordered. So my goal is to have my Wood Elves in playable condition by Valhalla. Valhalla is October 19th through 25th. It's a Sunday through Friday. And there are still what are called event passes for that. And it is the, uh, the most economical option for getting out to Valhalla. Basically, you, it's everything except the lodging. So you stay nearby, you find, not unlike a regular convention, so you find a place to stay, you come on in, you be there 18 hours a day if you want. And uh, so, the, and so, and Valhalla is like, ah, the, I mean, it's designed to be the best wargaming experience you can have. It's great food, absolutely fantastic setting. We're up at Timber Moose, which has an indoor pool, a 10, 10 person hot tub. From the hot tub, you can see like, I don't know, 100 miles. It's, it's incredible. You're seeing like mountain ranges. It's, it's really amazing. The, the, the mountain air will really clear your mind. And uh, oftentimes I get a thing back from people saying, you know, how, how it changed them. It gave them some perspective and gave them ideas. You'll be able to rub shoulder with industry leaders like Mini Wargaming and the Wargame Consortium. Uh, we've, got, we've got a lot of good names coming up. And never mind BTP and a lot of the amazing BTP staff are going to be up there. We're going to be doing uh, painting classes, assembly classes, sculpting classes. It's all part of the ticket. It's just... It's, it's really, really, really an amazing experience. So guys, um, that is what I have to tell you right now. Um, yeah, got Rich coming in for a bat rep on Wednesday. So folks, stay tuned. A lot of amazing things coming out of BTP. We're really excited about, about how the downstairs is going to look. We're really, really stoked about that. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow.